Hey guys, I'm J Mac. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and I just got Posse on today. I waited until CVC started and uh, popped him this morning, got him leveled up, and so I'm wanting to see what he can do for me in Faction Wars. Um, as you can see, I got stage 18. Uh, couldn't beat stage 19 with the team that I had, which I know I've changed some gear out, you know, mastery, some things like that. I haven't really tried it in a while. But I'm gonna do Pythion, and I think I'm gonna take Jerig out. So I've got Dracomorph. Um, he does damage, and he's got some debuffs, uh, decrease defense, and a uh, weaken on the AOE. Uh, Venom Mage is just awesome. Um, got Poison Popper on A1, does decrease defense, decrease attack on one target, and then AOE, heal reduction, and poisons. And then as long as uh, heal reduction is up, uh, the enemy will do 15% less damage. And then Razin, I know I probably need to work with him. Um, I don't think I have him geared very well. I haven't really done much with him. I don't even think I have masteries on him. But uh, he has a chance of removing a buff, a three hitter on the A1. Um, hits one enemy, can do a decreased defense and a weekend. And then uh, his AoE decreases turn meter by 100%, which is awesome. I think I've got enough accuracy on him. Then, of course, Pythion. Um, he can do a heal on his A1. And he does a heal after each hit. So it's really nice. I was able to get him fully booked to um, A2 can do a block debuffs. So it removes all debuffs, then heals by 10% and then heals each ally extra uh, for each debuff removed and then places the block debuff. So an awesome cleanse and heal. He's got a revive and then can do a, a strengthen also. And then his passive is pretty cool. That you can get damage mitigation depending on uh, how many buffs you have. And so before I get into that, get ahead of myself, let me see how I built him out. Now since he has a heal on his A1 and I can't get him up to the speeds I would want to um, without switching a lot of gear around, I hate swapping gear around. So I put him in a relentless set, which is 18% chance to get an extra turn. I love putting champions that have a heal on their A1 in relentless because that extra turn feels like it comes a lot. And so you can just get a lot of heals when you start getting those extra turns. So for the boots, I got speed, um, you know, a little bit of attack there. Uh, HP on the chest plate, and a lot of my sub stats are horrible. You know, flat defense, uh, crit rate, crit damage. I don't care about on him. I want HP on the gloves. Got a little bit of speed, uh, crit rate. I don't care about. You know, flat stats here. So the gear is not even though it's you know six star, and I think everything on him is six star. It's not god tier gear. It's just got some decent sub stats on it. A uh, little bit more HP there, a little more HP, just a tiny bit of speed. I would love to get a speed higher. Uh, decent HP on the helmet, got trip rolls, and a little bit more HP with some accuracy. Uh, for the banner, I went HP, got a little more defense and speed on it. I went HP on the amulet, and then defense on the ring, just because I got a little more defense and HP there. So... His total stats, I got him to 82.5k, which I think is awesome for the gear that I had. Um, attack, slow, defense, you know, I would love to get it higher being a support champion just to help him mitigate damage. Speed is abysmal, uh, 186. And so I offset that by using the Relentless. Um, I could probably take the Relentless off of him and put together something to make him faster, but then I would lose a decent amount of HP and probably a lot of defense with that too. 
uh crit rate crit damage don't care about um resist not doing resist build and i really don't care about accuracy because i don't think he's doing it yeah he's not doing any debuffs he's just total support heals and buffs for your team um uh, masteries there's a lot of ways you could probably go um i went to get his heals as much as i could um a little bit of you know turn me to there and then just kind of went through the defense of what i thought would work best on you know keeping him alive the longest i uh haven't really watched any other videos on him and that's kind of where i get myself in trouble especially with silver is i like to try to build a champion myself to see you know what i think that their main stats need or if i see something that you know might be kind of cool to play around with and then I usually watch a video then realize oh i kind of did this wrong or i shouldn't have this much of that stat i should have focused on this and then i'll rebuild him and <laughs> waste a lot of silver and same thing kind of happens mastery sometimes but it's just kind of one of those things uh i like doing it just to kind of help me learn more and see where i'm at with picking up on different abilities and thinking okay i'm gonna have this champion paired with this champion so i can do this and this instead of what i was going to originally do so I'm sure there's tons of different ways to build him out, but those are the masteries I picked uh, just to help with his heals and survivability. And again, I do have him fully booked. So I'm ready to see what kind of difference he will make. And let's see. And Jarag is a great epic champion because he has a uh debuffs he does ally protect and increase defense and then a decrease attack and then you got a continuous heal that he can put to as his passive so he's not decent uh, i mean he is decent for you know epic for what he is but enough of me talking let's see what i can do and i could probably rework draco also i am short on silver right now because of the stupid Gallic event and other stuff. So I had a couple of other champions I got built out and was trying to get stuff for the Gallic uh, event, which I should just protest it. It's kind of for the amount of points you got to get and what you're getting out of it. It's kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> I'm just curious how well I can do on auto. I will say having the two Valkyries together is kind of rough. Uh, especially, I think there's... I uh, don't think there's one with three. I think the, there's another level I'm thinking of. Man, he hits so hard. But looking pretty good. Everybody's staying alive. But I love Venom Mage. So awesome. All the debuffs. And I may need to slow it down. So there's some extra turns right there from the Relentless Gear. Uh, then Aox. He's a healer too. I probably need him bumped, beefed up a little bit more. Get more defense and HP on him course i like i said i think i was gonna make his gear a little bit better but then i saw how low i was on silver so i just thought i would try to do what i can here man and pantheon's already making a huge difference because just the cleanse and the heals Should be able to do this, no problem. <clears throat> so yeah, I got pretty good with Pantheon and Aox together. Um, get a decent amount of heals going at them, but... Pantheon's doing some pretty good heals there. All right, let's see how they do on the next round. And I'm kind of wondering, 
I think I've got everybody's accuracy up high enough that they can land all their debuffs. But I don't know if the resist um, auras will res uh, arena battles was Pathion do. All battles by 60. Since I don't really focus on resist, I bet having him in the lead with the extra 60 resist probably isn't going to really change much. However, this one can take a decent amount of time because those Thinocils increase defense and um, the big heals that Thinocil does. I'm going to try to focus on one to get one down if I can. But I got heal reduction buffs up, which helps. And I probably could have just auto this, but I think I want to do some clicking. Because sometimes the AI's is a little screwy and the champion that, you know, they've almost got dead, they'll start hitting on somebody else. And I just don't want to sit there and do this two or three or four times. But I don't want to bore y'all sitting here going through all this. So uh, once I get towards the end, I'll cut back in and we'll see how we're doing. All right, so we are at the last round three, which it, as you can see, seven minutes in, a little slow. I had to kind of take over because of all the heals and buffs. I don't have the greatest, um, you know, DPSers. I got, you know, Draco's awesome, and I know Razin can be built to do some decent DPS, but I guess I've got more support than I do DPS, so it, uh, I don't know if I'll have enough to effectively beat the queen, but I should be able to stay alive well enough. So it's just kind of slow go, but everybody's doing good between, I mean, Pantheon's heals, definitely keeping everybody up. I could probably, could probably got away with just using him and not Aox. And then, you know, have uh, Jared come back in. But Aox does have a decent um, debuff on his A3. But I'll just keep clicking away here. <clears throat> just need to get those block damages to come away. And I probably should wait to do that. I guess I'll just A1 everybody to death right now. Oh, there we go. And, man, that's just super slow. I will uh, come back in once I get done. All right, so just under 10 minutes. So that's got me, you know, six stars. See, do I get a prize? All right, some silver. That won't even <laughs> get me a 12 to 16 probably on something. All right, let's see what I can do here. And I have no clue what Red Queen on this level does, so just let it be a surprise. All right, um, I think I will cut back in once I get to the end because this is all probably going to take me a little while to get DPS through these waves. So we'll come back just here in a little bit. All right, I'm almost done with 
wave two just trying to a1 everything so all my good abilities will be ready for the queen but Pathion is doing awesome with the hills uh great job keeping everybody alive so let's see what we got going on here uh immune to everything or almost everything feels turn meter okay so every bit of damage you do turn meter is getting filled Removes all debuffs from champion, places true fear, and places stun. These debuffs cannot be resisted and grants an extra turn. Ignores defense. So, I don't want to put any debuffs on at the start because she just knock them off. I guess she'll do her A2 first. Um, okay, and the buffs can't be resisted, so... I don't I wonder uh I guess if you have a block debuffs if it can't be resisted it can't be resisted it'll still go through maybe I'm kind of curious about that if I have a block debuffs if that will do anything or if, no matter if you have it on or not it hits I can't remember okay so the trick is to get everybody healed up Before somebody dies but at least I have a reviver with my new Pythion um, <clears throat> I think decrease attack will help to get some debuffs and I really need to get some poisons going and I need to get more heals on Draco Let's see. So I'm curious. I guess I'll find out here because I've got the block debuffs up. Maybe if everybody gets a turn before then. Okay, so that right there where it says these debuffs cannot be resisted, but they can be blocked. So if you have a block debuff up, they get blocked. Awesome, that is good to know. So I could have started that way. Then now I just need to get more heals going. Let's see if we can do turn meter. Yeah. Um, what was that one? Okay, that's the ignores defense. So let's get everybody healed up. And we should be good. Just get some more hits in. I'm not going to hit that yet. Yeah, poisons. She's going to be down. All right. So, Pythion. He is my lizard man crit hero. Um, so, yeah. Draco, Venom Mage, and Pythion. Uh, you know, Ryzen does stuff with that. I probably need to get him booked. Because that AoE uh, drop turn meter all the way down is awesome. And there's me another legendary book. All right. So, Lizard Man Crypt finally down. And, like I said, I might have been able to do it with other teams that I had. Probably not, because... When that Red Queen ignores defense, she hits hard, and you've got to have a reviver. Every one I've done, I think, I've had to revive somebody just about, but they were all built pretty well. So, anyways, all right. I am totally thrilled and happy with Pythion. Um, definitely need to have him booked for the cooldowns. Um, and I love... I love Relentless Gear. Uh, Relentless Gear, you get it from winning uh, tournaments, events. Uh, you can also find it in the shop. I would not advise buying it because you have no clue what stats you're getting. But uh, 
it's also good to remember that block debuffs on that red queen even though it says they can't be resisted they can be blocked so that's one thing about this game you got to learn the wording to know how mechanics work so just need to get blessings on him maybe make him a little better but i'm probably gonna stick with this build for a while i love i love champions with a a1 heal and getting that relentless to proc and i just need more silver to get everything up to 16 just to make the base stats a little better so anyway i uh, hope that helps somebody out there maybe but i just wanted to uh try posse on this the first time i used him thoroughly happy with him glad i did that fusion so when a lot of content creators talk about doing the fusions um obviously the other one's not me <laughs> I, I struggle with looking at which ones ah eh, he might be good here might not and everybody else is like oh he's horrible i'm like okay he's horrible and then everybody else, oh he's amazing I'm like oh okay he's amazing i need to get him so you know hell hades chosen ash uh murder inc j gigs scratch all those guys i know there's a couple more that are really really good if they say get somebody get them because it'll help your account but anyway guys uh Hope you all having a good day. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.